We all know that a quality frontal protection system has to tick a few boxes. Firstly, it has to look good on your four-wheel drive. It needs to be able to take a hit to protect you and your vehicle in the event of an accident or animal strike. And it needs to have plenty of space to fit all of your other off-road accessories. But have you ever considered how your bull bar is actually mounted to the vehicle? This has to be the most crucial component of any quality frontal protection system. And this is where the team at TJM have taken their range of bull bars to the next level. The new range of TJM bull bars not only tick all the boxes when it comes to aesthetics, but the design team has spent a heap of time developing one of the most innovative attachment systems in the industry. Underneath the new range of TJM frontal protection systems is a recovery cradle. This is the key to your new bull bar strength. Unlike other bars on the market, the one-piece recovery cradle physically braces the vehicle's chassis to spread the load in the event of a frontal impact. And, thanks to twin recovery points mounted directly to this cradle, the TJM recovery system performs exceptionally well in even the toughest recovery situation. No doubt you've recently seen the video of the TJM team hanging this Ford Ranger from a crane to demonstrate their faith in their quality frontal protection system. So the question is, how different are the dynamic loads experienced in a serious four-wheel drive recovery? So let's get out there and give this a real world test. Well, here we are. Now, isn't this a fairly typical situation that you could find yourself in after a bit of bad weather? A fully laden four wheel drive with a heavy camper trailer bogs solid in the mud. No matter what the driver does here, this vehicle is well and truly stuck. So this is clearly a setup scenario. The team at TJM have come out to one of their favourite testing facilities. They've had the owner come out and help us prepare the ground with his bulldozer to make it especially boggy. So what we're going to do now is set up for a fairly standard snatch strap recovery. We are also going to add in a load cell to measure the force placed on the recovery points in order to get this vehicle free. The new TJM Ranger bull bars have an integrated recovery system that is rated to 8,000 kilos. And thanks to the recovery cradle that attaches these points to the chassis, all of the forces at play are going to be distributed across both chassis members. So to utilise TJM's integrated recovery cradle, we're using an equaliser strap fed through an 8,000 kilo snatch strap. In the middle, we've got a TJM recovery blanket that helps keep everybody safe, but we're going to make sure all the crew and spectators are well out of the picture out to the sides anyway. We've got two metres of slack set up in an S, and that's all we need to get the appropriate amount of force on this strap to perform this recovery. Let's get this vehicle out then. Keep an eye on the bottom of the screen to see the load cell readout during this recovery. We begin with a moderate load recovery. That's enough to get the car moving, but it's not quite out. Next up, we'll use a little bit more effort. Any good test needs to be repeatable. So we'll turn around and have another go at this under exactly the same conditions. And there you have it, the car's out, now let's check out the results. The first moderate pull gave us a maximum load of 2,800 kilograms. The second, more spirited pull was a little bit higher at 3,160. The second attempt recorded slightly lower figures on both pulls. This is probably due to the fact that we laid down some wheel tracks on the first attempt. Interestingly, the load experienced under a dynamic recovery situation wasn't that dissimilar to just the mass of the vehicle.